What's up, it's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Villa Plume Pokemon number 45 on the Pokedex. Now, I got him from CandyPatterns.com, description down below. So for this little planned Pokemon, we're going to be using some light blue, blue, black, red, orange, and then some yellow wool. So we're going to begin by lining up and we're going to place just two black wool. So we're gonna, that's what we're going to start it off with, so one, two. For our two black wools. Then we're gonna place a light blue, a blue, and a black on the right and on the left. Now, after we build something, I'm usually gonna take a big step back, allowing you guys the opportunity to hit pause in case you need that little bit of extra time. So now let's continue by adding five black wools across the top, just like that. And then over here, we're going to add a cube made out of four blue wools. That's what our square should look like. Then we're going to add three black wools on the bottom with a light blue on top of this black wool and then a black on the left and two on the top. So I know that was a lot, so I want to just hover here for a couple seconds because I think I went too fast, but hopefully not. Hopefully you guys got it. And there we go. All right, so let's continue with our Villa Plume by adding two light blues and then five light blues just like that. So remember it's gonna be two light blues, then five light blues. Then we're gonna do a row of six light blues. Then we're gonna add a light blue, two red wools, and then three light blues blues and then up here we're gonna add three light blues with a blue and a black then we're gonna go up by three on this left side so one two three and then one more black wool above the light blue Then what we're going to do is that over here we're going to add two blue wools and then we're going to add four black wools across the top. Then we're going to add a blue wool and on top of this blue wool we're going to add three black wools and then on the right of the blue wool that has the three black wools on the top we're going to place seven black wools. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So make sure you guys have this so far for your Villa Plume. We're now going to start building the bottom right part of our Pokemon. So we're going to drop down here in just a second. But feel free to hit pause. This will be a great stopping point in the video. Because you guys have to hold Villa Plume up to this point. Okay, so let's go down here. We're going to add a blue. And then three black wools just like that. Then we're going to add two blues with two light blues. And then two black wools on the right. And then over here we're going to add two diagonal black wools. And there we go. That's going to be the bottom part of our Villa Plume. We're of course going to go ahead and fill it in with some blue wool at the end of the video. Pretty much we're just going to fill it in at the end with our blue and then our red. So this is going to be the bottom part of our Villa Plume. Now let's get started with the top. So we're going to go over here, we're going to do the outline of the flower. So we're going to add a red wool on the right with three black wools. And then a red wool with a black on the right. And then on top of this black, we're going to add two red wools, a black, and then two red wools. So you're going to place two red, a black, and then two red. Sounds like I'm saying two reds, but I'm not. I'm saying two reds. And then over here, we're going to add five black wools, just like that. And then one on the top. Now over here, we're going to add a red with two black wools. And then also two orange wools. I can't place anything right, but yeah. Just place those two black wools and then two orange wools on the left part. Then on top of this two orange, we're going to go ahead and place four black wools. 
this would be a great little mini stopping point. We have pretty much the right side and now we're starting with the top. So let's continue. Up here, we're going to add seven black wolves going towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to add a red with two orange wolves. Oh, but not there. On the bottom. So yeah, just add a red with two orange wolves on the right. Then over here, we're going to go ahead and place four black wolves going towards the left. So one, two, three, four. You just have to double count. Wanted to make sure I did it right. Then we can go ahead and place a red wolf with two black wolves, then a red with one black wolf. Then below this black, we're going to go ahead and place two red wolves. A black, two red wolves, and then another black. So once again, make sure that you guys have a black, two red wolves, a black, two red wolves, and then another black. Then we're just gonna slap five blocks of our black wool on the left side. Four and five, there we go. And to finish up the outline over here, what we're gonna do, so we're gonna add a red with three black wolves. And let's take a big step back. Let's see what we built so far. So we have the flower outline. We still have to do like little middle, like flowery thingy. But yeah, this is what we have so far. We have the bottom and the exterior outline of our flower. So now let's go ahead and continue the flower itself. So for that, we are going to grab our orange wool right here. We're going to place an orange wool, then a red with three black wools on the right in that shape. Then we're going to grab our yellow wool. We're going to add two yellow wools, one, two, with two black wools on the right and two black wools on the left. Then we're going to go ahead and do a row of yellow wool across the top, just like that. So if you want to count how many it is, it's supposed to be six, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if it sits, we did it correctly. Now on the right side over here of this yellow wool, we're going to go ahead and place four black wools. And then two black wools on the bottom right. Now over here, we're going to place four black wools like so. They're going to be like interconnected. Is that a word? I don't know. But they're going to be like pretty much like stuck together right here. So just place those two black wools and then those two black wools on top then over here we're gonna add two yellows with two blacks and then let's go ahead and add a yellow wool here and on the left part as well then we're gonna grab our black and we're gonna place one two three four And then we're going to add four black wools going towards the left. And then an additional two black wools. Now let's take a big step back. This is what we have so far. We just have to go ahead and add the detail. But this is what we have. We have pretty much the whole outline of everything we need. We just have to go fill it in according to the one on the left. But we still have to do those little bits of detail. So let's do those little bits of detail. Let's go over here. We're going to add three orange wools so one two three and then two orange wools just like that then we're gonna do three yellow wools with an orange wool here then we're gonna add a red with three orange wools and a yellow Then we're going to add three orange wools on the top and then one to the right of the yellow. Then we're going to add two orange wools, a red and a yellow on the bottom. And then up here, the only thing we have to do is just to add one little orange wool right here. And that's what the detail on the right part should look like. We're going to go ahead and fill it in with red wool at the end of the video. But for now, this would be a great stopping point. This is what the right 
bottom and top parts of the flower should look like. Now let's shimmy to the left and let's add those important details. We're going to go ahead and add two orange wools, a yellow, and then three orange wools. We're going to add three yellow wools like so with an orange in the corner. And then over here, we're going to place four orange tools in this shape. Then we're going to place a yellow with two orange tools. Now on the top here, we're going to add four orange tools and three orange tools on the top. So you're just going to go ahead and place a row of orange here and then a row on the top. And as long as this row is four and that row is three, we're pretty much done. So this is what the left part should look like. This would be another great little stopping point. So you can see, and actually let's go and make it a bigger stopping point by just taking a big old step back. This is what you guys should have up to this point. Remember, what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna go ahead and fill in the body of our Villa Plume with our blue wool and then everything else with our red wool. So it looks just like that. So let me take a step back so you can see how exactly you need to fill it in. This would actually be an even better stopping point because you can see how you need to fill it in. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in myself and I'll be back in just a couple seconds. And there we go, we have finished building our Villa Plume Pokemon number 45 on the Pokedex. Thank you so much for watching. This was another Pokemon Pixel Art tutorial by your host, me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Hit that like button, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Catch us in our next video, and just have yourself a good time. Thanks for watching. To catch them is my real test.